Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. All right, let's do an exercise where we have to know the central angles and the um, intercepted angles. If you take a look at our diagram, we have circle O. And question number one, name the intercepted arc for angle GTR. Now, if you look at angle GTR, that's this one right here. And notice how that's an inscribed angle for this arc right here. Now, I know it has three letters in that arc, but it's a minor arc. It does not go more than halfway around the circle. So our answer is GR. Number two. If angle GTR is 62, find the measure of GR. As we discussed in the previous video, the inscribed angle is always half as long as the measure of the arc. So if the angle is 62, the arc has to be twice as much. So arc GR must be 124 degrees. Find the measure of angle MEG. MEG is this angle right here. Uh, we have another inscribed angle where E is the vertex. If I look on the other side of the circle, I have an arc that goes from G through T all the way to M. That's the intercepted arc of the inscribed angle. So I need to try to figure out what that is. Well, I notice that G and M, which are the endpoints of my arc, make a semicircle. So that is going to be 180 degrees. The arc measure of any semicircle is always 180 degrees. Number four, if angle GTR is 62, so let's mark that angle again, 62, inscribed angle, find the measure of arc GTR. Well, from the previous problem, we talked about how arc GR has to be 124. So the entire circle is 360 degrees, but we're going to take away 124 degrees from arc GR, and that will give us our answer. 236 degrees. That's the rest of the circle. Now let's name an inscribed angle. Well, we already have one we've been working with. And that would be angle GTR. Any inscribed angle is an angle where the vertex is on the circle itself. So we have another one here. Let's call it TGM. And from the same vertex of G, we can talk about MGE. Notice how there would be a lot of inscribed angles. Let me mark a few in a different color and you'll see. If the vertex is E, we have this inscribed angle. And we also have this inscribed angle. The same goes for vertex R and vertex M. There are a lot of inscribed angles. All right, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard and take care.